What's our mini fans? As a follow up to my last video, the fuel containers, I'm now making a refueling station, a dirty, grimy old fuel depot. As always, if you like anything in the video, feel free to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my content. Okay, let's get on to building. <laughs> Check the previous video for how to make these, but I've made one of the containers, the fuel containers again, empty, but this time with an open lid. So I literally just cut out that, the lid, and cut it in half and joined it on. And then I've made another fuel container, and I've stuffed this with cardboard, rolled up cardboard, and then I've got this, this part from an old kettle, which fits beautifully in one end. So that's gonna be where the fuel goes in, and then I'm just using a bottle lid at the bottom. So I glue these in, um, super glue at the top and hot glue at the bottom. Now the base of the sort of fuel tank is an old mouthwash bottle. It's a nice shape and I've actually sanded this because it was very smooth. And then I've cut a 10 by 10 centimeter square of 2 mil chipboard and I've measured either side, all, all the sides halfway, drawn lines so I've got the exact center and then I've got the diameter of the bottle and using a compass I draw that on. I draw some measurements on the 10 by 10 square. So I've measured in five mil from opposite sides and drawn lines. And then I've measured three centimeters in from either side on those lines, marked it, and then drawn a line the opposite way across. And finally, I've cut the four corners off at a 45 degree angle, about a centimeter in. Right, time to cut that out. So I've cut out the two recessed bits on either side and then I cut the whole square in half and then cut out that circle. I haven't got all the measurements for this bit, but for the first half, I'm using 28 centimeter high bits of chipboard. And they're the same size as all those bits on the half square that we've just cut out. And I label each part so that I don't get mixed up. And then I just glue these to that, that section with the half circle cut out using super glue initially. And then I use hot glue to reinforce it inside. I also use various blocks of chipboard just to, to reinforce it. And then the other section I do, the other half of the whole, the whole structure is 16 centimeters high. So those bits get added to the other half circle cut out. I add another couple of bits of chipboard as well. These are 12 centimeters high by 1.6 centimeters wide. 
and these get added on the the 28 centimeter high section at the top to either side of the um, the half circle cutout. Next up, I glue those two sides together, and I use super glue initially, and then hot glue and various bits of chipboard again on the inside just to make those joints stronger. And then I glue in that mouthwash bottle upside down, um, so it's flat at the top. So yeah, I stuff it in, super glue it in. Alright, trimming time. So I'm just using just cardstock and the first few pieces I make are for the corners and I've measured like the width of the 45 degree bit of the corner and then added on two half centimetre sections either side and I've scored down like the half centimetre mark just a couple of times with the knife so they bend and then I glue these on each of the corners. Then I add one centimeter trim horizontally everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm not going to list exactly where I did it. You can, you can see in the video, but it, it just goes everywhere. And this is just attached with um, PVA glue. I've now made two sections of card, just um, big rectangles, and these go on the panels where the join is between the two sides, so I just glue those into place with PVA. Okay, next up, I'm making a ladder for the ground floor. For the, for the upper floor, I don't actually make a ladder and I just use one of the ones I've previously made. You can, you can check through my videos and see how I made that. But for this one, I've measured two 8mm wide sections of chipboard, 16 centimeters high. I've drawn a center line and then one centimeter dots uh, you know, one centimeter interval dots. And then I've used my pin vise, and I don't actually drill through, but I just twist it in a bit to make a hole. And then I'm just using wire, which I cut using wire cutters. I actually make a mark on a bit of chipboard so it's easier to, uh, you know, so I don't actually have to use a ruler to measure each part. Then I just stuff these into those holes, get the other section, the other side of the ladder on, and just glue it. And then I glue this to another bit of chipboard at the back. And then this gl gets glued onto the structure. two walkways for each of the floors. 
I've printed out a template on on my cardstock and I cut these out, cut out the center bits and then PVA glue, glue on some mesh, uh, greaseproof paper, wait on top, wait until it's dried and then I glue on five mil sections of chipboard all around the edges um, underneath where the card cardstock is. Just glue those on again with PVA, wait. Back to the tedious part, riveting. Again, using fingernail beads. I've measured out along all the bits I want want them to go on. Um, like on the trim sections, I've I've drawn dots down the center, and I've kept them about four centimeters apart. So I do this all over. Um, again, using a damp finger pick up the, the rivet, get it almost into place, and then using a toothpick, dab of super glue, and then maneuver into place, and repeat endlessly. <laughs> At the moment, it's quite obvious that the main sort of fuel container is some kind of bottle because it's got a recessed bit of the top with writing in. Uh, so I've cut a bit of chipboard, a circle of chipboard to fit in there, and I've made a 5mm ring of cardstock to go in the centre of that, and that's got rivets on. So I've glued that in. And then what I do is because it will be too hard to get to with everything glued together. So I've painted the two sections where I want the walkways to go. I've painted those black and then glue on the walkways. Off camera I've made some T-beams cut at 45 degree angles at both ends and these support the, the walkways so I've just glued those on. Next I want to make a roller conveyor belt for for the fuel container like the, the, the crate. Um, I've got these inner tubes from Capu bags and uh, I basically lay out a load of those. Two bits of chipboard either side, it's about a centimetre wide. Uh, I think it was 10 centimeters long and I've cut the the ends of a chipboard at an angle 45 degree angle and then I actually use some offcuts of straw at either end of the chipboard just so the rollers the end rollers can sit on those 
so I just glue this all in. I glue the end ones first and then just position every all the other tubes and then glue them with super glue. That's the end of part one. Join me again for part two and we'll continue the build.